boys and girls. I'm so excited to get to hang out with you again for a few moments as we have another exciting kids club together. You know, this is one of my favorite times of the year. I love fall. I love everything about fall. I love pumpkins. I love decorating. I love the cooler nights. I love the cooler mornings. I just... I absolutely love it. I love hot apple cider. I love apple pies. I love going to apple orchards. I Everything that has to do with fall, I am all in. But one of my favorite things about fall are the leaves. You know, for most of the year, leaves look just like this. They're green and pretty plain looking. And, they, you know, really from, from a distance, it's hard to tell anything different about them. They're all green and they all look about the same. you got to get way up close and get close enough to it to tell that this is a different shape than the other leaves. You know, that's not true in the fall. In the fall, trees and leaves come alive with color. We get all types of different things. We get leaves that look like this. We get leaves that look like this. We get leaves that look like this, and we get beautiful colors like this in them, and we get ones that are colored like this here. And all types of colors and all types of differences. You see, in the fall, when leaves turn color, we can really tell that they are different from each other and that they belong to different trees. Sometimes you and me, we're just like these leaves. We do a really good job of fooling people around us and pretending. We act a certain way or behave a certain way so that people can see one thing about us and not really know who we really are inside. We pretend to love God and we pretend to act like Jesus and we go through all the motions and we say all the right stuff when truthfully, when we find ourselves alone and by ourselves or with a certain group of friends, we act and behave a lot differently. We say things and do things that Christians shouldn't do or shouldn't say. All of us do an incredible job of acting like we're supposed to act when we're around our church friends or when we're at church. We do an amazing job of pretending to be something that we're not sometimes. Honestly, though, if we're to really, if, 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 if we're really excited about God, then loving others and serving others and being kind to people who are mean to us are all just a part of our lives every day. And we don't have to pretend at that. And we don't have to act like that. And I want to share some Bible verses with you. Matthew chapter 23. So while you get a Bible and you look up with me here, we're going to go to Matthew 23. Verses, verse 25, 26, and 28 is what I'm going to be sharing with you here. They're here on your screen so you can look them up with me. Jesus says, beginning with verse 25 in Matthew 23, What sorrow awaits you, teachers of religious law, and you Pharisees, hypocrites! For you are so careful to clean the outside of the cup and the dish, but inside you are filthy, full of greed and self-indulgence. You blind Pharisee, first wash the outside of the cup, or first wash the inside of the cup and the dish, and then the outside will become clean too. And then jumping down to verse 28. Outwardly you look like righteous people, but inwardly your hearts are filled with hypocrisy and lawlessness. You know, we can look like a Christian. And we can do a good job of pretending to be a Christian. 
and we can do all the right stuff and say all the right things, but unless we really change our attitudes, unless we really change our behavior, then we're just pretending. Just like you pretend to be different things when you dress up or put on a costume. Acting like a Christian just to impress others is pretty much like taking a dirty, nasty cup and washing the outside of it, but leaving all the gross and nasty and dirt still inside it. I wouldn't want to drink out of a dirty cup, would you? I'd certainly make sure I clean the inside of the cup as much as I clean the outside of the cup. So I want you to remember the leaves, you know? I want you to remember that as you look out this fall and you see all these trees around us, I want you to remember how leaves show their true colors in the fall. And we can see what they really look like and who they really are. You know? And we can tell them apart. God knows our true colors all the time. He knows what we look like. And sometimes he doesn't like what he sees. He knows that we do not really mean what we're saying. He knows that we don't always say the right things. He knows that we're just pretending to be like him instead of really being like him. So my challenge for you this week is to live for Jesus every day. To not just pretend. To not just act like you're a Christian. But be a Christian. Every day. Living like Jesus. And loving like Jesus. Let's pray guys. Father we ask you today. To help us be more like you. To stop just acting like a Christian and to start being a Christian. To stop pretending and start living it out every day. And how we treat others and in what we say and how we behave. We love you. Amen. Okay, guys, I look forward to seeing you again next week for another. Uh, time of Kids Club. Have a great week.